Welcome back to AJSpeller.com. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to divide fractions. All right, so let's begin with um, this example here: three fourths divided by one half. Well, what I want you to realize is that this here really is just um, a complex fraction, where the three fourths is the numerator of the complex fraction, and then the one half is the denominator of the fraction. Well, to solve the problem, what we need to do is we need to make this denominator into a 1, and we do that by using what's called the multiplicative inverse or multiplying by what's called the reciprocal. And all that means is we just flip this bottom fraction. So instead of the fraction being uh, 1 half, we're going to multiply by 2 over 1. And whatever we do to, to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So we multiply the numerator also by 2 over 1. And again, the reason why we do this is because this allows us to turn this denominator into a 1. Because 1 times 1, I'm sorry, 1 times 2 gives us 2. And then 2 times 1 also gives us 2. So we see here that this denominator is going to be a 1 because my numerator and denominator match. For my numerator, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to multiply the numerators and then the, and then the denominators. Six time, I'm sorry, 3 times 2 to give me 6 and then 4 times 1 to give me 4. So I really have 6 fourths over 1 which can be rewritten as 6 fourths and then I can simplify because these are both even numbers I can divide each one of these numbers by 2 so 6 divided by 2 gives me 3 and then 4 divided by 2 gives me 2 I have an improper fraction so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn this into a mixed number where my divisor I'm sorry where my denominator becomes my divisor and my numerator becomes my dividend. So I want to see um, how many times does 2 go into 3? Well, 1 whole time. 1 times 2 gives me 2. 3 minus 2 gives me 1. So when I rewrite this as a mixed number, this number 1 here, the quotient, is my whole number. The remainder is my numerator. And my divisor is my denominator. So my answer comes out to be 1 and 1 half. So when I divide, uh, when I have 3 fourths divided by 1 half, my answer is one and one half. All right, this is a lot of work to get to this, but there is a simpler method. Because we know this denominator is, go is going to become a one, we can skip this part of the, of the problem. And let's do that with this next example. So here we have four fifths divided by one third. Well, what I'm going to do right off the bat is rewrite the four fifths. That's the part that we're going to say is going to stay the division here becomes multiplication so we're going to say that there flips and then we take this last fraction three four I mean one third and change it into three over one so I also say that that there flips and what what I've heard in schools is they use the method called the stay flip flip method so now at this point, I multiply straight through for my numerators and denominators. So 4 times 3 to give me 12. And then 5 times 1 to give me 5. I have an improper fraction of 5 twelfths. So I need to do my long division where my denominator is my divisor. My numerator is my dividend. Well, 5 goes into 12 2 times. 5 times 2 is 10. 12 minus 10 is 2. So now I take my quotient. That becomes my whole number. My remainder becomes my numerator, and my uh, divisor becomes my denominator. So for this second one, my answer turns out to be 2 and 2 fifths. And let's do one more example. Here we're going to do 7 twelfths divided by 3 fourths. All right, we're going to use this stay flip flip method where we keep the 7 twelfths. We change the division into multiplication, and we write the reciprocal, or flip the three-fourths. So now it becomes four-thirds. And what I'm going to do is before I multiply straight across, I see I can do some cross-canceling. So I have a, a four and a twelve. Four can go into both of those numbers. Four divided by four is one. Twelve divided by four is three. Now I multiply straight across my numerators and then straight across my denominators. 7 times 1 to give me 7 and then 3 times 3 to give me 9. So I have, a, um, I have 7 ninths. That's a proper fraction and this here is, the, um, is where I end. Alright, so thank you for watching another tutorial by AJSpeller.com and as always, have a great day.